Wizard Foo here. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Hey, so I'm working on the voxel engine still and making some good progress, even more. Lots of little bits here and there cleaned up and performance improvements as well. Let's check it out. Um, why were the... There's, man, there's been a lot of little cleanup issues taking place over the last like few days but man look at that it's actually performing well while I'm recording a, vid a video of the whole screen somewhat well 30 frames a second it runs at 60 normally that's pretty cool uh, see there you're seeing one of the issues I've still got to solve I'm not sure why but sometimes it's like when I turn a corner too fast or maybe the entities model changes um, right when you turn a corner or something like that and it leaves behind some pixels i'm not sure you see you can still see there's one pixel right there that just won't go away and oh there it goes i think it has something to do with the depth buffer but anyways um things are performing well it's rendering for the most part well you can see the shadows even work they're 3d they work for uh, these little entities here but there's a few a few issues too with the whole engine in general. Like the shadows, I want those to be a little bit thicker. I'm not sure why they're so thin. Why is the character with casting a shadow and it's only like one or two pixels wide? Um, there's got to be something I'm doing wrong with the way the the shadows are casted right there. Another thing is on 45 degree angles, the the render models don't quite look as well. And I've compared um, my engine's 45 degree angle rotating versus Magicka voxels, for example. And Magicka's does a, a better job of it. So I'm sure there's something I can, I'm doing in the math that's just not quite pixel perfect. So, um, so some, some improvements to be made there. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with things as, as they're going because before, man... This whole, like, you could only run half the arena and you'd suddenly get stuck. Um, and that ha turned out to be that um, there were too many entities in the on-screen entities map. So um, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't allow the player to be in the on-screen entities anymore. And then that's why it didn't seem like, it seemed like you're stuck, but it was just that um, you couldn't, you, it was it was that your character was no longer the camera was no longer attached to your character basically that's kind of what was happening there and uh, also half the arena used to not even draw like up here in the top half of the arena it was just nothing but ground until you went near it and then all of a sudden it would um, have some ground there what was that it what was that um, it had something to do with the Y position. In the, in the rendering of the voxels, something like that. I forget, but just issue after issue of little little tiny things here and there to get it to this point. So I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Um, let me see if I can show you any of the code that would make sense to take a look at. Let's actually I need to refresh my memory on what the heck I've done. It's been a lot of... It's just... It's hard to remember because there's so many of these little issues that have gone by. This was just performance. Oh, yeah, it was the large Z position. Oh, that's right. The depth buffer was too small for all for entities that were above a certain Y position. So the depth buffer was basically overflowing. And that's what fixing that was pretty simple, but took for a long time to find. It's kind of how a lot of programming issues go. I think that's the, the core of that one. Yeah, that's that was. More accurate render grid. Oh, the render grid needed to be the right size, but that didn't really matter. Um, oh, yeah, there were a lot of issues with erasing. If you watched the last video, you saw that the character would... Um, if I moved the character the um, on the screen, there would be like a shadow left behind for one frame where it was... It's like it drew the character at the new position and then erased the thing that was behind it on the next frame. It was like leaving this trail. Um, and that was fixed because basically it, you shouldn't, I shouldn't have been repainting the entities or, 
or choosing which entities needed to be repainted because another entity was erased that was above it. Um, that needed to not happen in the erase, but happen in only in the uh, render system tick. So that was, that was, let's see if we can sh actually show that here in the render system. Here it is. It's basically moving the repaint entities into the render system instead of every time it erases an entity. Because what happened is it would it would also snowball out of control. Like you would erase one entity, which would erase another five entities, and all of a sudden you've erased a thousand entities when you really only meant to erase like thirty. So that was a double a double whammy fixer there. Um, oh, these are I think these are mostly performance. Just seeing which entities are on screen, I was making that more accurate here. Oh, and fixing the space between ground tiles. That was another little issue. Like, um, when you were looking at the screen, do I have any screenshots? Yeah, here's some. Um, this was a screenshot from a little while ago where you see these, black, these vertical lines on the ground. These are actually because I was using floor F to describe um, pixel positions for voxels and floor F was basically just rounding down this very last pixel so without using floor F just using using a straight up regular transfer of of the math there um, it allowed the ground pixels to touch each other so that's, that's another little bonus this screenshot you can see it's actually applying shadows to the trees as well in, in in the gameplay I was playing earlier it was actually not applying it to all the trees because it's just really kills the render system trying to cast shadows for so many entities but I think what I could do is actually render those shadows um, sort of permanently into a model depending on whether the model has that kind of flag so that basically these entities could look like they have shadows applied to them but maybe they wouldn't actually cast three dimensionals or dynamic shadows they would be more like fixed static uh shadows which would pff, still look awesome in 3d so a lot of work left to do but making some good progress glad to be sharing it hope you i hope you're doing good person watching this video friend hello um and uh i hope you just enjoyed watching this we'll talk to you later